All right, it's May the 2nd. Got another net run. Go see if these ops run yet. Should be getting close to time. The water's come up a couple foot. We're in here on the road putting in. We can't even get to the boat ramp anymore to put in, so. We'll get out here and see what happens. The water's up. Got to come down the old pipeline to get in the end of the river. All the flooded timber out here. Last seven days, the river's jumped. Probably a little over two foot or nearly two foot. All right, we've got big Larry up here today. Another two foot rise, and it's gonna be dirty. We already know that. See what he can come up with. Uh oh, a couple catfish in there. Two blues. Couple up. This one here is kind of borderline, Larry. He's legal, but I'm not gonna keep one that small. We'll we'll turn him loose, let him grow. So we ended up keeping one old flathead, two blues out of that net. All right, we got our next one coming up. This is the the high fishing net, the hanging one. Been doing pretty good, and we'll see what happens here. Uh oh, see something running around there. Oh, I see a big old, big old flathead running around in there. Ooh. Ooh. What we got down in there? Got some goose, but it's a couple nice flatheads in there, ain't it? Oh, yeah. The side of this river is infested with goose. I don't remember catching any last year. I ain't never caught this many goose. Oh, I feel laid one the other day. We're going to try it on the grill. <laughs> Might be like a black drum. You never know. Got two people, one on our messenger and one called me uh, last week that lost nets. So I'm gonna go over a little bit, a couple little tips to help keep from losing these nets and how to find them. So one of two, one of a couple things could happen. Nets could get stolen, and if you leave your stuff where you can see them, you're just taking that risk. We're doing that right now. We got a couple jugged. And we're taking a risk because they're in some heavy current. they hard to drag up. Or you can tie them off. But I'm going to show you something right here on uh, tying them off. Another thing could happen is the nets may still be there, but the current may be washing your drag back. And you ain't able to drag them because the current's pushing your drag back. So you got to move upstream and try to drag them. So those nets that y'all lose may not be lost. They may be right where you put them. Either, either you not in the exact same spot or your drag's just not hitting them. I'm gonna show you a little bit about that in a minute, but real quick I'm gonna show you on tying them off. Pull it right here. I just curl it around behind this and then tie it up here. That way nobody really can see it if they drive by or whatever. And it's high enough that we can still get to it. If that makes much sense. I wouldn't use a yellow rope or a white rope or anything that sticks out. I've got some little things we'll use for markers sometimes. Take just a little piece of plastic, a small piece of ribbon or something, put it in a tree. I know where these trees are, so I don't have to worry about that. But you can tie these ropes on your headline up in a bush, kind of hidden, and, and you'll be fine. I've never had one stolen down here. I've had in 20 eight years of doing this i've had two nets come up missing and both of them were in darbone lake so notorious thieves over there we got some net thieves over there they bad people we'll discuss all that later or both of them was was dropped down out of sight you had to be looking to steal somebody's net to to go in and take those nets so there'll be a day for that they'll get taken care of or have to answer for that one day but hope i don't ever catch them Y'all see what I'm talking about right there? 
you can't see that rope. There's no way, and we're right here at it. So if you're running down the middle of the river, you're not gonna see that rope. You have to be right here looking for that rope to find it. But I know where it's at. All right, we got Big Larry working on the next one. I got some work horses I bring with me, ain't that right, Larry? <laughs> I just sit back here and shoot video while y'all pull the nets. <laughs> That is one for every day of the week. At least you need at least seven buddies. I think I got six right now. Counting Danielle. Then, then when you got one buddy like Chad, that 45 years old having having babies, that kind of rules them out. <laughs> I said, "You going with us running nets?" He said, "Got a doctor's appointment." I told you it was going to be some work. I don't mind getting it. I hope it's got some fish. Might not have nothing. Oh! Got a couple. Oh, my word. Filled up with blues. Big blues. The blues is running. We after ops and the blues is running. Keep it. Whatever you want to do, man. <laughs> you want fish for the freezer? Yeah, yeah. I ain't nothing wrong with them. No. Ain't as good as ops. I'd keep that and throw that big one back. Oh, this is the big one. Huh? This is that the biggest one? Yeah. Yeah, I was trying to get rid of the big ones. I'd throw this big one right here back. Yeah, right I'd keep that one. Yeah, he's a little bit better. We ain't going to keep all of them. We're going to throw some back today. Some of these blues. What we got here, I'm going to show you all real quick. Just an example of what's going on why a lot of people don't find their nets with a drag. Like I said, you got this heavy current. And it may swing it out past the headline. But y'all can see I got a yellow rope right here. And this ain't even a steep slope. This is just a slight slope up here on the edge of the bank. And if you put that drag right there, and I'm up here at this angle dragging. And I'm pulling this drag across bottom. Look what just happened. Now I can go back up here and try it again, and I might hit it and I might not, but look, the slightest lift and I'm missing that rope every time. You know, and then I get in some trash, I'm missing that rope every time. So if you go in toward the bank and start to drag out with a heavy current, a lot of times that drag's coming right over that rope like that. So that's why when I get in heavy current, I'll drag from out to in, and that drag never comes up off the bottom. And look at there. So, that's the best way I know to explain what's going on, why a lot of people lose their nets. A lot of people lose their nets, and they never did really lose their nets. Our net's still right where they put it. It's just heavy current. River or creek comes up a little bit. They go in here and drag from the bank. And I mean, even if I'm, I'm pulling it a little bit right there, I still just miss that rope and it come right across the top of it. But if I come out here and throw it out, no matter how steep that bank is, that drag's following that bank because of the, the angle. See, that angle's different, you know. If I'm going up that bank like this, it don't even matter if it's on a steep bank, I'm still going to catch that rope. But if I'm down here like this, I'm pulling, look at the angle. I got like a 90 degree angle to that rope right there. So my barbs come up and they're kind of short. You can see my barbs are on a 45. I'm on a 90 degree angle. I can touch that rope and still come over the top of it and never catch it. So, try that if you're having trouble dragging your nets up. 
get down there and start out and come in. Drag up the bank to catch your nets. Maybe that'll help. What are you looking for up there? Ain't nothing up there waiting on us. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't scanned it already? No, I don't worry about that. Oh, creepy crawlers down there on them limbs, the ones you got to worry about behind you there. Show y'all how to get these nets in here. Oh yeah. There they go. Throw this one back, Larry. He got he a little deformed. Oh man, <laughs> he got a crooked tail. We'll let him go back in there. He's had a hard life. Atten, he probably ain't so fortunate. Nice little blue right there. Look at that. Good flat here. This one. 20 pounds. Mm. It's a good place. All right, there's what we kept today. That's it. We threw back some big blues today. We didn't want to dress that many. I guess we threw back four or five of them. Still got a good mess of fish. Flatheads, I don't know. They still putting it on us right now. We made some changes on the nets. Moved some in a little closer to the bank. We'll see what happens. River still rising. It needs to stop. Start falling. Start falling. We'll catch some fish. That's going to be it for this one. God's country hunting and fishing, keeping it real.